Good morning guys. I say morning, but it's like, uh, it's about 1 p.m. and I'm rolling out, pulling out of the driveway, headed to the shed zone. I, in that last shed video I made, I hit a spot right before dark, picked up a bunch of sheds and I've been thinking about it all week. I know there's more there and I'm gonna go out and see if I can find them. I have a few days to get this done. Today is Tuesday, I'm gonna probably go home Thursday night maybe Friday just depending on how things are going out there but I'm gonna spend a full day on the deer sheds and then I'm gonna try to transition over and hit some elk sheds so hopefully everything works out and we can have a good trip it is December I want to say the 13th you can see this festive apparel I got Mountain Hop sent me this ugly, ugly Christmas sweater and uh, it's sweet anyway I'm gonna head to the shed hills it's t-shirt weather here so hopefully it'll be nice where I'm at and it won't be too terribly cold sleeping in the middle of nowhere but Let's go for a big drive and see if we can pick up some shit. All right, you guys, I got out here and I got like an hour till dark tops. And I didn't want to get all dressed, <laughs> get my boots and my pants on so I be short on time. It's warm out here and nice, so I'm going uh I'm going a cool way, alright? Basketball shorts, my workout shorts on, some under armor shoes, and an ugly Christmas sweater. But clothes don't matter, right? All that matters is that we get out and find some sheds. So I'm gonna haul butt till it gets dark and then circle back to the truck, make some dinner. All right, you guys, so got back to camp. Uh, kind of disappointed. I hiked along pretty good ways, you know, tonight, especially for only having about an hour and a half. I went hard and I didn't pick up anything. And it kind of messes with your head a little bit because last time I walked this area, I had like a half hour and I picked up five. So now what? That's the question, I guess. Um, I'm gonna cook some food because that will always puts my heart and my head back on the same page. <sighs> Woo, cold out here. So what we're gonna do is gonna be pretty basic. I got my water boiling right here. This right here is parboiled rice, so it's partially boiled. So all it takes is like a little bit of boiling. It doesn't take long at all. So I'm gonna make some rice. I'm gonna add in some of these delicious better cheddars, um, smoked sausage, fully cooked. So all you have to do is get them warm. A little bit of chicken breast right here, and then some spices. It's gonna be just kind of a super simple mashup of foods that I like to eat when I'm out here. I thought I had a can of chili that would make everything better, but I do not. And I'm not a big dehydrated food fan. Some of them are okay. In some situations, they're, they're the way to go, but I'd rather just like cook. So I just will cook and throw the rice in and we'll get going on that. Propane's gonna die, battery's gonna die. I'm gonna eat that. Stuff you see when you shed hunt out in Nevada, I guess. This is a 14 millimeter wide angle lens and it makes those things look crazy far away. They're not, and they are huge. Anyway, military stuff probably, I know there's an Air Force base out here somewhere, probably Hill Air Force Base or 
What's the one down by Vegas? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go pick up some sheds, go hike this country, see what we can't turn up. There's always a lot of interesting air traffic out here in this area, so. I don't know, a funny story about last night. Um, parked in a spot to camp, and apparently I was too close to uh, an Air Force base or something like that because a whole bunch of people showed up in the middle of the night and ran me out of there. Yeah, <laughs> kinda eerie. So I ended up in a totally different spot, spot I've never hiked before, never been before. So we'll try this place, I guess, a little bit farther away from apparently whatever it is they're trying to hide. So let's go hiking. Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. What a brute. Right under this rub, this tree's been absolutely annihilated. It looks like an elk rub to me, which would be cool because I've never seen elk off in this country, but I know they get down here sometimes. But it's always good. I mean, the truck is just parked literally like, like right down there, like right over the hill. And I already got a shed. This is in the wide open in this wash, so if it hasn't been picked up yet, we're in good shape. What? One knee. Plus, it's a giant, you know, so that's cool. Yeah, baby. That's what's up. Well. Away. Couldn't decide if it was a shed or not. So, trying to make the big hike over, and it's definitely a shed. Weird. Got eaten alive or something. Big old eye guard. Dang it, I thought it was tucked in the bush, but it just doesn't exist. Oh, there's a point there point there. Old, big old eye guard on it. It's in pieces all over this hill, so I guess I'll just keep going up here. Maybe go up over the top, see what's on the other side. Saw this deer way back, decided to put a little move on him and and I just walked right in on him about 35 yards. Hopefully something like that happens to me on the over-the-counter Arizona archery. You guys, this is pretty freaking crazy. This is in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, there's some big rock piles around. A bunch of rocks piled up. But yeah, another thing that we're not talking about right now, but I have ADD. I just came down off of this hill right here. Holy cow. Anywhere that's shaded right now is solid ice. Like, there's no snow on the ground, but the rocks are all frozen in. Oh my gosh, I just fell. I just slid like a solid 40 feet down the face and almost went off this rock ledge. It was pretty gnarly, but I don't think I ended up too much worse for the wear. These pants seemed to survive it, and my pack did. I got one little scrape, and that's it. But this is cool. Look at this. Somebody got done working, and left a shovel stuck right there in the tree. How old do you think that is? Just rusted away, the handle's all worn to nothing. Crazy. Wonder if it has a bait or something on it. Look at that. Old, doesn't have any markings or anything on it. Yeah, it says 2XXX. Huh. We are so far from a road. Like, unless there's some here that I don't know about. Miles and miles and miles from any road. Like, I'm at least three or four from my truck. But it's pretty wild. I'm gonna poke around and see if there's anything else to see. I don't know if this is an old foundation for a house or a trough, old cow trough or something, but pretty crazy. Somebody hauled all this cement up here and mixed it by hand, probably with that shovel. Pretty cool. It's a good reason right there to get out in the hills and check stuff out. You never know what you're gonna find. Well, I just put my camera away after finding that weird little, I don't know what it is. There's a pretty sweet deadhead right there. Man, that's a good buck. A good buck. Hidden down in here. Woo, double eye guards. That's a sweet deer. 
chewed off on the back fork on that side. That stuff, that uh, shovel and stuff is seriously right there. So I don't know, maybe they killed it. Kept it around, but sweet looking deer. Maybe I'll just like go stash it up there with the rest of that stuff. Maybe I'll leave him here because Nevada, you're not supposed to take deadheads anyway. And he's not big enough to go through the hassle of calling him in or anything like that. So let's do a pickup on him. Why not, huh? Pretty sweet buck, really. He's old. Been here for a long time, but that's too bad. He had a lot of mass on that back point. I'm sure it had good length. This one did too. Really nice frame deer. Really big buck. Double eye guards, triple on this side. Pretty cool. Like to find his sheds or find him alive when I'm hunting, but deadheads just get to live their lives out here. I'll just let him stay here. Pretty cool. Don't risk it. Go. Was going over a fence, that fence, and uh, it slipped on me. My leg went through the wire, ruined my favorite pants, shredded them, and that thing is freaking deep. Stabbed and cut all the way down the back of my leg. Man, I'm on one today. I guess I better just get to the truck and get the heck out of here. Ah, what a joke. Well, got back to the truck and got her all doctored up there. It's a big gouge right there, then that cut, then that little cut. But I think it'll be fine. So I'm gonna go drive over and see if I can find another spot, maybe find a coyote. Um, too few horns, too many miles for too few horns in this country. So let's go try somewhere else. Also, you guys, good time to talk about it. Like, let's make sure we have a first aid kit, huh? I uh, usually don't have one. I threw one in the glove box of this truck not that long ago. Luckily, it was still there. I had some antiseptic wipes in it, a Band-Aid. I wasn't in a spot where like, I actually needed real first aid or anything, but it's nice to have a little peace of mind knowing you can get it cleaned out at least and get something over the top of it so it's not bleeding everywhere. But Anyway, this spot's kind of a bust. So let's go find a different one. I guess that's all you can do, right? I think when I last left you, I was bandaging my leg up. I ended up driving a long ways last night to come over to an elk spot. I got over here and uh, snow, it's this crusty, stupid snow everywhere. Super bombed, but I'm like, whatever. I'll go try it anyway. And uh, <laughs> it's a good thing I did. I needed this, I've had a rough trip. I was gonna tell you guys all the stuff that's gone wrong on this trip, but I mean, sound like a whining baby, but. I cut my leg yesterday. I broke my tooth yesterday. Uh, <laughs> woke up like with a cold, but whatever. That's enough. That's enough whining. Look at this right here. Yes! That's a hard whitey. A good shed. Look at that. Oh, heck yes. I think that might be the other half of the one my nephew picked up out here a couple weeks ago. But there's the trip paid for right there. One shed, you go from being sick of it to getting that rush. Sweet, I'm gonna take some pictures and then pick this baby up. Oh, that's a good heavy shed. Nice six point. That's gotta be the other half of that bowl my nephew picked up out here. A couple cracks, but definitely hard white. Good six point long sword, decent third. Oh, that's what makes it worth it right there. See if we can turn up one or two more, that would be nice. But if not, that's the trip paid for. So. See that? I don't know if you do or not. It's snowy and it's hard, but I've been zigzagging up through like pretty uh, awesome looking winter feed. And there's another hard wife busted off. It's actually chewed up. Oh no, it's just free, a freak. Look at that freak. Crazy, look at that pedicle. Huge and weird, and it is. It's hard white, looks like it got, oh, it's chalked on the back. Looks like it got flipped at some point. But a big old heavy, heavy shed. 
like, look at that beam mass. <laughs> That's a good bull. Oh man, I got one good one on the pack already. Add that one to it. Do a long sweeping back sword. That sword goes straight back. Crazy looking antler, but this is some of the best winter feet I've seen up here. There's a ton of this, and there's a big kind of just an open bottom going up, and a lot of good looking shed country up in here. So I'm gonna just keep working my way up the bottom. But first, let's pick that weed sucker up. Well, I'm not sure if I had the focus right on that last shot, so I'm gonna show you guys this a little bit better, but it's got that crazy front point. Do a long third, crazy swept back, big sword. So I wonder if his other side's around somewhere. He got flipped over at some point. Probably another elk up here messing with it, flipped it, but that's a pretty good day right there. Let's pick this thing up. <coughs> big old heavy sucker. Weird looking. Right in my shadow. So it's pretty chalky on the back side. Not too crazy, but just got a weird, weird bottom end on it. You know, it's really freaky looking. But that is a heavy shed, like ooh, solid nine, 10 pound antler. It's gonna go have a weird, weird looking pedicle on it. Look at that thing, it's crazy looking. Sweet. That's gonna do it for this one. Didn't end up finding anything else. Um, found those two elk sheds and walked a long dang ways in crusty, annoying snow. But pretty solid way to end the day. I'm glad to be not going home totally empty handed. A couple elk sheds will definitely pay for my fuel and my time out here, so. That's always a bonus. Plus, I get to make a video for you guys. So I wanna thank you guys for tuning in and watching these videos. I'm gonna find stuff to do this winter. I have an archery over the counter. El or deer hunt starting January 1st is gonna be a lot of blast. A lot of blast. It's, it's getting deep out here, you guys. Anyway, thank you guys for coming with me on this. Thanks for watching the videos. If you guys would subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Trying to grow this channel so that I can support my family um doing what i love i hope you guys are having a good day hope you're chasing your dreams and doing what you want to do and uh, anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time